Okay, the final parts of this kit is actually the actual beam rifle itself. And it's pretty straightforward. You just want to make sure that everything is... It's, it's a kind of a modular design feature that I've seen on other military weaponry. And since I said that I was going to paint this um, chrome silver, I said, no, I'm going to try something else. And I have the metallic... I had the metallic black, or leftovers of the metallic black. So I said, let me use this. So, put that in here. Something like that. And then finally the uh, clear part, which... I'm going to sand down a bit left over. And just stick it in there. Alright, so the beam rifle is ready. Ready for action. Pretty much, let's now go move on to the final assembly. Okay guys, it's, it's now the moment of truth. It's time for me to put the Victory Gundam together. And first up, we're going to take... Not this, because this is the one that has the, the wings broke. So it's going to stay like this in fighter mode. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put this part here, like so, which, well, I guess I have to push it in all the way, there we go, I think I have to hold it down, there we go, no. Don't you want to go in? Great. Alright, damaged part of the head. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it the way it is. Because then I have to transform this. So, supposedly, I got to bring this up like that. Pull this up. And carefully push this in. Actually, no, hold on. Now I know. I have to push this part up. Oh, great. The thruster came out. Well, I'm not going to bother with that. I'll push this like that until it's like this. Oh, and then I can push this one in, so I think it locks the um, thing into place. So, continue to push, 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 push. Come on. There we go. Then I guess I have to pull that in there until it locks into place. Now I can put the head on. Let me just bring this down. Are you kidding me? You don't want to go in? Get in! that's pretty much it. We take this, and we, I guess we slide that in like so. And, of course, if I look at the instructions properly, I can probably see what, how this does, how the work is. Oh, okay, so I got to somehow Turn this like that, turn this like that, so I can open up the fuselage a bit. Make sure this one all the way in. And then put this in like so. Up.
You would think that this would be this easy. Alright, so that one goes there. That one goes there. And it doesn't want to go down all the way for some odd reason. Is this going to take an entire, uh, entire 15 minutes to see if I can get this thing inside? It's ridiculous. Alright. I am annoyed. Alright, so you're down there. That's understandable. This one comes down. And shimmy in that in there. Fine. There we go. Now these things supposedly supposed to lock into place. Why they're not locking into place, I don't know. There we go. I think we got it. This one we need to flip up a bit like so. Carefully. So it looks like this, or I think it has to go like that, regardless. All right, never mind. So that's fine. And of course, the thruster is coming down like this. This came out, and with so reason, it broke. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's assemble the foot, the, the legs, I mean. Oops. Alright. And supposedly, this one... How does this work? It goes through there? Yep. goes through there and then it locks into place like that. Yes. Lock in. Stay there. Don't move. And uh... <coughs> Who's messaging me? Can't you see I'm busy? arm in, which that pops out. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm going to tell you something, guys. I I could easily have edited this video, but I'd rather show you all the nonsense, all the bullshit. I don't hold nothing back. I let you guys know or show you what I, what I have to go through to make a kit like this. Even if even if people dislike what they're seeing, this is how it works. I'm truthful to my to my build. All right, here uh, here you have it. 
the one 100 scale master grade victory Gundam from the mobile suit victory Gundam animated series custom paint job in blue with gold um, yeah everything on this kit came out pretty well based on the colors that I have chosen stayed with the red replaced the white with blue replaced the blue with gold so the gold trim came out pretty nice the blues came out pretty good and everything else yeah everything came out nice so why I'm not feeling this kit this kit has been <laughs> annoying as fuck and yes I said it um, as much as I've as much as I try to give this kit the benefit of the doubt many things on this kit has failed on me consistently um, part of it has been my fault in regards would be not paint not putting the movable parts together and then painting them because you run the risk of damaging them while they're solidified you know the paint is solidified and then holding on to the part as we all saw here in the elbow here in this little part that broke off even the shoulder armor and now this part of the armor broke off as well I, 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 I'm annoyed. I am really annoyed. I haven't been this annoyed since I tried to build a GD model. And for those of you who know what that is, it's a really, really bad knockoff of a Gundam kit. Um, on its own, I could imagine it would have been a, a great kit to build um, with no painting, no whatever. Maybe the painting would have worked well, but it, the inner frame I should have left it alone. Maybe if I would have painted the uh, inner frame separately, how it is, that's fine. But it is way too small for the size based on its scale. Um, if this kit was a perfect grade kit, it would have not given me this trouble. As a matter of fact, the perfect grade kit would probably be the same height as, as the, new, uh, the new Gundam kit, Verka, that's coming out soon. But... When you have a kit that's literally about, well, let's say, see, let's put this in the cons comparison. Here's a high grade kit. So this kit could be a supersized high grade kit. Um, but it's not, because look at the scale. Yeah, even though it is a master grade kit, it's smaller than other Master Grade kits like the Dark Titus here. I feel pretty bad that this kit turned out this way. I really do. So much so I, I need I need to get away from this kit. Get away from it for the time being. Clearly, there's a lot of options. There's a lot of parts here that I could use. Um, the the shield, the um, the beam saber. Um, but I, I this this kit cannot be transformed. This kit cannot be uh, turned into the fighters. I could probably remove the head and put on this um, the hexa head, the um, you know the other optional head. But I'm so done with this kit that I, I just don't want to look at it anymore. Now I know the reason why I want to get. Rid of it. I was trying to sell this kit. The core booster. Uh, I'm not faulting the core booster because the core booster has not given me any problems. Um, I'm not going to build it now because I ran out of paint. Paint specific for this kit. Why can't this head go in there? Oh, never mind. But um, I'm going to pause for now, and I will recontinue the build of the. Victory con uh, the V Gun Them Core Booster custom build at a later date. Don't know if this is going to be this calendar year. It may be next calendar year. But in, in the meantime, I'm just going to work with what I got. I'm gonna, it's uh, I'm done. I'm completely done. 
I need to move on, I need to refresh myself, I need to do a straight build just to get the taste out of my mouth from this kit. With that being said, I'd like to thank everybody who has been watching this series and uh, so you know, I don't like to hold back on anything. I will, I will show you my mistakes, whether it's a mistake on the kit or a mistake on my part. Partly, this kit, uh, I, I, I take half responsibility. The other half is it's not a perfect, it's not a perfect kit. But again, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. Take care.